All right, let's play this in full here. There is no sound. We got a, a long silhouette look here. Da -da -dong, da -dong, da -dong, da -dong. Cool, cool, cool. Jump, getting ready, and bam. It's cool. I picked this one too because it's not your typical cartoony rig. It's not what you would really expect. And I do have a couple of notes in terms of clarity. But other than that, there's a lot of cool stuff in it. So right off the bat, I love this. I love the very graphic look at that beginning. The only thing I would say is I personally would reduce the vignetting. It just gets a bit dark. It's not too bad. We can still be clear, uh, clearly see what's going on here with the character. But it just gets a bit dark in moments like this here when we go over there and we start to lose what's going on. Personally, I feel like, oh man, it's a bummer. I will make that just a bit cleaner maybe you know reduce maybe just for the slight corners there that'd be my only thing here this one i would the only thing i would say is that it's the run and then we cut to the same run until here so it's more than half we are I don't know, like 60 percent into the clip and it's the same animation over and over and over so there could be something where i know this is adding a lot more work i'm just saying for future things we're seeing the run. That's cool. And by now we get it. Dun, 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 dun. Like to me, to me, after this, the repeat has to change because now it's really getting to repetitive stuff where it could be where now we have a slight jump with the gun going this way and then shooting and then bam, that's what causes this. So you have a bit of a difference of run, run, way, run, run, run. So it's not just the same thing over and over and over. This gets somewhat saved because we're seeing it from this angle and you have a turn that adds more interest and now we get to see uh, the, the front part of the character, which I think is neat. It could still be something where, I mean, if I'd be super picky, it would be run, 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 jump, shoot, bam, explosion, but still in the air, landing in this, Boom, maybe even with the camera tilt down and then into a run so right after the landing the camera starts turning and we get into this that could be something to consider so it's not so repetitive i would also look at since i mean it's an okay silhouette with the color but potentially giving this a bit of a different color to to help us see what's going on here it gets a bit even with these uh, thingies coming out here we don't quite understand what is going on there. I think it could just be a bit clean. Even here, I'm starting to lose what, what is what here. Then as you jump, I will cut out sooner because we get to stoing. And then we linger and I'm going, okay, am I supposed to, what, is something going to come out here? I would just cut out soon out of that. We don't need to linger on this, almost setting up something that doesn't happen. And then getting into this, that's fine. What I said before, I would just reduce the vignetting a lot and potentially keep more of that in terms of the clouds and not go super dark. Because again, we're starting to kind of lose things a little bit here in terms of clarity. Again, it's not super, super bad, but it would be nice on something like this, on, on, a, on a pose that you hold. So you just Why not just have more white clouds and keep the darkness here, but really make this as clean as possible, like the way it is. You know, I mean, it's not like here. You know, like how the white in here, like that is nice and clean. And all of that is really great. And I would just kind of keep that approach for here as well. I like how you change from the posing here into this. All that's cool. The only thing at the end, tricky angle where are we getting that gun over that knee and all the dark shapes there. That is a bit better. I like this. I think we could hold on this longer versus that. And even this here, we kind of miss this. So maybe on that could be a post change where we lower that leg potentially. Not that it has to be a crazy post change, but maybe just keeping that as clean as possible. And then that is almost too short. It's a good rhythm though. But it's almost like you want to do, I was thinking kind of a as it comes out, it's almost like comes out here. And this, maybe the propellers come out and start turning for a kind of exaggerated hold into that. And for your last frame, I will probably have this here, this here a bit longer, a bit lower. And then one more where it's really up here 
and then that into this. Or throwing it out there is totally different. I know you're having this where we kind of sh shoot to the POV of whoever's watching this. This could be security camera or whatever. Um, but completely changing it. What if this is the camera is a bit more three quarter, so we have a bit more of a body gun uh, leg pose. That's a very fat um, samples here. But imagine we just have a cleaner view and silhouette of that gun. So imagine it would be three quarter and shooting, and then maybe whatever the trajectory is that, and it's not this because the camera broke, but it's. I mean, it could even be a bit smaller, but uh, actually, it could be smaller here, but that projectile could come here and it's an explosion that with debris that wipes out the frame into that so it's not a static because the camera broke or the recording device but it's an explosion debris smoke whatever that causes that as an ending throwing it out there i know this is a massive change just just for uh food of thought so different ideas subjectively of course other than that it's very very cool and that's it for me